Hi there, and welcome to Dumpster PC's Motherboard MOSFET Cooling How-To Guide Part 2. In this second part video, we've got our currently cut heatsink that we're going to stick to the MOSFETs. So you can see that here. We didn't end up going with the more complex arrangement that had holes cut out for all of these capacitors, because we didn't have the time, basically, nor the necessary tools. So what we've come up with is something just slightly more complex than the very simple version that just covered the MOSFETs and then upwards in an L shape. So we've actually got a T. And here you can see we've cut two holes for where the screws will go. So this is how it will fit on top of our MOSFETs. Just like that. And the tools that we actually used to create this were very simple. We just had a drill, a hacksaw, and a file. Now we're going to attach the heat sink with two screws that are 3 by 15 millimeters and their corresponding nuts. And here we've got some thermal transfer tape. And it's actually fairly thick thermal transfer tape. But we need to do that because we actually have a component here next to the MOSFETs that is ever so slightly higher than the level of the MOSFETs. So with this thick transfer tape, then we'll be able to rise above that and only call the MOSFETs and not interfere and have an uneven surface. So, if you look at our heatsink here, you'll notice there's a part that's been cut out of it. This is because we had this 25 megahertz clock crystal here and that was sticking up in the way of the heatsink. So we just made a small cut on the side of the heatsink in order to make room for that crystal. So you can see that here. Or at least I hope you can see it. So it took us a while to cut this heatsink, mainly because we had mostly manual tools in terms of the hacksaw, but I think it turned out fairly well. So we'll go and attach that, and we'll show you the final product in part three. Thanks.